Hey, hello, welcome. Welcome all IoT magicians. So today I am here uh, on a special request. Uh, some of you are asking me that uh, they want to connect uh, Raspberry Pi to their Android phone. So instead of using any external, uh, you can say a TV, television or external monitor, they want to use their existing iPhone or their Android phone so that they can use their mobile phone as a uh, output device or as a um, monitor. This is quite possible that uh, you can connect your Raspberry Pi to your Android phone. At least I have tried with the Android phone and uh, I'm sure that there should be uh, the similar app available for iPhone as well. So at least for Android phone, uh, you, can, you can do that. So here uh, I'm going to show you in detail how do you connect your Raspberry Pi to your Android phone so that you can use your Android phone as a monitor. So you don't need uh, any, uh, um, any separate monitor or any separate TV uh, to connect your Raspberry Pi. So uh, first of all, uh, this uh, video I have divided into two parts. In one part, I'm go going to show you what all you need, what all devices or components that you need in order to make uh, your Android phone as an external monitor. And then in the second part, I will show you how do we connect and how we can achieve the result. So here, as you can see that I have Raspberry Pi over here. Another important thing which you need is this. This is the video capture card. So this is also I have received just now. Even I have not unpacked it. So I just wanted to uh, unpack it in front of you so that you also can see what all this has. So this is the video capture card. The link of all this uh, uh, accessories I will post in the description of the video and you can find it from there. So you need a video capture card so you can get a card similar like this. You will need one, uh, this, uh, uh, you can say the OTG connector. So why OTG connector? I will, I will show you in, uh, uh, in just a minute. So here one side, it is a USB kind of, uh, you can say a USB uh, connection. And from other side, this, this uh, pin uh, will go to your phone, your Android phone. And uh, of course you need a mobile phone where uh, which will be supporting the OTG. So uh, nowadays, mostly all the phones, mobile phones support OTG connection. So uh, Android phone where you will install one app and I will show you uh, what app is that. So, okay, that's it. Uh, you, you need all these things. So first of all, let's try to unbox our video capture device and then uh, we see what all is there inside this so that uh, it will be helpful for us to connect our Raspberry Pi to our Android phone. So let me open this video capture device. Let's try to unbox it. I have also not seen what all is there inside this. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that I should have uh, HDMI cable as you're seeing here. I should have the device and rest of the things. So let's, let's see what all is there inside this. So yes, as I open this, so what is this? So yeah, this is, this is the, uh, this is the actual uh, video capture device. As you see here, let me keep it first here and let me take out all the things which is there. So this is another HDMI cable, which I have here. And what all is there, let me see. So I have one more connector. I will just open it. And I have one more connector here and a couple of cards I have and looks like a mini brochure where it is explained uh, how it is to be connected to our laptop or any video device from where we want to capture our video. So if you will just quickly check this box over here so you can see that it has it is written here it has one let me try to if you can see that, yes, I think you can read it now. So it has one HDMI input is there and a brown color and it supports 4K by 2K 3D 1080 P and 720 pixels. So this is uh, the configuration 
or the pixel configuration that it can support. It has HDMI video input resolution of maximum input. It can be 3840 into 2160 30 hertz. USB video output resolution and support video format is 8, 10, 12 bit deep color. It is a metal shell and it uh, the package has uh, one USB 3 capture card. So this is, uh, this is the capture card. Uh, which you are seeing here i will just open it in a bit and you have one hdmi cable so this is the hdmi cable that uh, you will get uh, with this and one is type c connector here you are seeing that i have one type c connector so uh, this is the type c connector let me open this type c connector and let me show you this connector yes so this is the type c connector as you can see that from one side this is the usb connection and from other side there is a type c connection so this connector can be useful if you want to connect the usb to your type c devices like if you are having your laptop which supports type c kind of port so you can use this connector so uh, for the time being i'm not going to use this so i will keep this aside but yeah, this is uh, this package, complete package is really good package where I have got almost all the connectors that I needed. And lastly, it says it has mini HDMI and micro HDMI connector. So this is what it is. So this is mini to mini HDMI and micro HDMI connector. So you can see that one sided, this is the HDMI connector and these are the mini uh, micro SD connectors. Yeah, so this is also I'm not going to use uh, for our purpose, so I can keep it aside. So these are the two things which I don't need at the time, so I will keep it aside. Uh, and I will keep <coughs> this box also aside. And this is the video capture card that we are interested in. Uh, in this into today's uh, this live session so this is the video capture device as you can see that one side it has hdmi port and another side it has the usb port so uh, this uh, hdmi uh, port it will become uh, the input side so you will connect your hdmi cable to this port and the other end of this hdmi will go to your input hdmi devices from where you i go you are going to capture the video output and from the other side, from this USB side, if you will use this kind of OTG connector, and if you will connect this USB to this one side of this OTG connector like this, and then this other side of this connector, OTG connector, this will directly go to your mobile. So this will be this will will become our output. So now this is pretty much straightforward that uh, from uh, USB from this HDMI wire, we will connect this HDMI cable to the input source, and this will connect it to we will connect to the output where we want to receive our output. So obviously, in our case, our output uh, device is our mobile phone and android phone so the connection should go something like this so here it will be connected this otg will be connected to my mobile like this and uh, the other side of this this will be this will be connected to my let me open the cable so i have opened this cable so you can take out these plastic caps of this hdmi cable keep it aside so now you can open this hdmi cable so one end of your hdmi cable will go to your hdmi port of your video capture device and other end so this is the other end of your hdmi so this will go to your in this is this will go to your input source uh, from where you want to capture the device, then obviously this should go to our Raspberry Pi because we are going to take the results. We want to capture the output from our Raspberry Pi. So if you will connect to like this from the HDMI port of your Raspberry Pi, so this completes our circuit. So if you see here, this completes our circuit. So one side is connected HDMI cable, one end is connected to the Raspberry Pi. The second end, of this HDMI cable will be connected to our video capture device. The other end of the video capture device, which is a USB type. So this will I connected to connect to this 
OTG type converter so that it will go here. And uh, the final end, this will be this will become our output <coughs> output uh, end. So this output end or output port will be connected uh, to the output device where we want to see our results. So this will go our go into our mobile phone like this. So this is how our complete circuit uh, or complete connection will become. So <coughs> and then we will power on our Raspberry Pi. Then all the results that you want to see that you used to see in your monitor, all that will be seen on your mobile phone. But for that, on your Android uh, phone, you need to install one app. So let me just show you what app is that. So let me take that out first. So let me first quickly. So when you will go to uh, this uh, Play Store, go to the Play Store and inside Play Store, you will search for USB camera. So let me type USB camera here, USB. I, I will just show you what is that app? How does it look like? So here you can see, okay. So this is the first one, this one, uh, the camera with the USB sign, lo the logo, the first one, you, as you see here. Let me show you the very first app, the USB camera app. So this is the, Android app that you need to install in your mobile phone. So once you will install this mobile phone in your Android phone, so it will look like this. So here I have installed this so you can open it. So when you will open it, then it will show you some warnings that the USB uh, uh, USB uh, cable between the device should not exceed one meter. So some uh, warning message it is showing here that uh, the distance that the wire that you are using, it should be uh, less than a meter. So this is uh, how we use uh, uh, HDMI, uh, this uh, video capture device to uh, use your phone as a, uh, uh, as a monitor. Okay, so uh, so how do we do that? I will show you now in the second part of that. So you just need you now it's pretty much straightforward. You just need to connect all these devices. You need to open this app, and uh, you just need to power on your Raspberry Pi. As soon as you will power on Raspberry Pi, it will show you uh, on your monitor. So since this is not the pro version of the app, so you can keep on seeing some ads here. So let me first quickly switch off my lights so that uh, it will be some, you can have some visibility, you can see. So you, you see here, so as soon as you will connect uh, your all your wires, then you can start seeing uh, on this screen. Okay. So uh, let's uh, get back to our second part where I will power on uh, my Raspberry Pi and then we can, we can see the results in our mobile phone. Okay, so let me power on my Raspberry Pi. So friends, now uh, we will connect our Raspberry Pi to our uh, power uh, cable and here we have already done the connection so when you will connect uh, your mobile phone uh, with this OTG connector and this video capturing device and uh, with your HDMI cable and if there is no input source as of now so it will show you a rainbow screen like this so now let's try to give power to our Raspberry Pi so I will give the power to my Raspberry Pi and you can see that my Raspberry Pi is now is growing up. And then you can see the screen here in my mobile screen also showing the results from our Raspberry Pi. So you, you see that Raspberry Pi boot button is uh, coming already over here. So it is showing us that my Raspberry Pi is uh, booting up. So you can see that now my Raspberry Pi uh, screen has uh, come over here. So now you can easily uh, see that how you can use your mobile phone as a uh, output device or as a monitor uh, 
uh, for your uh, Raspberry Pi. So if you want to connect now uh, any mouse or keyboard to your Raspberry Pi, then you can operate easily on this board also here. So as you can see that uh, here are a couple of uh, ads are also coming on uh, on the phone on this app because this is not the pro app that I have purchased. If you want to purchase the app, you can purchase and then it will remove all the ads that are coming over there. So, so let me uh, give you a simple example where I will connect my Raspberry Pi to the mouse and keyboard and then we will see how we can uh, use our mouse and keyboard. So first of all, I want to remove these ads from there because it is totally uh, because it is totally uh, occupying the screen. Okay, uh, so uh, I have a beautiful uh, device here, which is uh, a touch screen keyboard as well as your mouse. This is the mini keyboard device, which I am having over here. So uh, I, it's, a, it's a wireless um, keyboard uh, and that comes with the USB and which is uh, very easy and useful uh, for our Raspberry Pi. So this is the uh, adapter for this. So I will connect this adapter to my Raspberry Pi. So as soon as I will connect this to Raspberry Pi, then I can use uh, my mouse and uh, the keyboard. So here is the power button. So as soon as I will open the power on, so you can see that the cursor is now moving on my Raspberry Pi screen. If you can see the cursor moving, so you can see the cursor movement here on my Raspberry Pi screen. So you can, you can see that I have opened, uh, opened up the file browser there. So this way you can now easily uh, check. So let me open the folder over here. So I have a folder called IOT there. So if you will double click on this folder, so you will double click and then you can browse your Raspberry Pi over there. So friends that you are easily seeing that how we can use. So let me, uh, I, I hope you are able to see my uh, phone screen. And you, you will also see some ads coming on the top, but you can ignore that. Uh, so let me open one more folder. So you can see that I can, I am able to browse my Raspberry Pi very easily on my phone. So friends, IoT magicians, you can easily see that if you are not having any external monitor, then simply using your video capture device, you can turn your mobile phone as uh, your monitor. Hope uh, magicians, this uh, video will be useful for you and uh, you can uh, utilize this uh, video capture device in your future projects where you need a monitor, but you are not having any monitor. So uh, you must have this video capture device uh, in your IoT kit so that whenever it is necessary, you can simply take that and use your mobile phone as a uh, output screen. You don't need to connect your uh, external monitor all the times when you need to check your check the output of your Raspberry Pi. So magicians, hope uh, you liked it. If you like it, uh, please uh, share with all your friends and uh, give comments over there. So uh, all this uh, uh, link for all the buying links for all this uh, accessories I have given in the description. So from there you can get it. So magician, okay. So I will come up with some other in, uh, nice information uh, for you soon in my live session. Till then, you take care of yourself and arigato.